In this video, I'm going to show you how to order fractions, decimals and percentages. So for this question, we have 0.39, 2 fifths, a quarter and 34% and we're going to order them from smallest to largest. So the, there is a mixture of fractions, decimals and percentages here. So we're going to need to change them into the same thing. So we can either put them all into percentages, decimals or fractions. I would go with percentages. You could even go with decimals, but I would avoid fractions because it does get long-winded. So out of all of these, 34% is already in a percentage. So I'm just going to bring that down. 0 0.39 is a decimal, and I can change that to a percentage by multiplying by 100. So that ends up being 39%. Out of two-fifths and a quarter, you should know what a quarter is as a percentage, because that's the co more common ones. So that's 25%. And two-fifths, I'm just going to do a bit of working for that. So I want to put it into a percentage out of 100. So I need to find what number... I can multiply 5 by to get to 100, that's 20. I need to do the same to the top. So it's going to be 40 out of 100, which is the same as 40%. Another way to change a fraction into a decimal and then eventually a percentage is to do a division. So I'm going to do 2 divided by 5, but I'm going to put it in the bus stop method. 2 divided by 5. Make sure you do put the 2 inside there. So 5 doesn't go into 2. Carry the 2. 5 into 20 is 4, so it's 0 0.4. So 2 fifths as a decimal is 0 0.4. And then to change 0 0.4 into a percentage, I'm going to times by 100, which is 40%. So this is another way to change a fraction into a percentage by changing it into decimal first by using the bus stop method. This is useful for when the denominator doesn't go into 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. So this one is 40%. I then like to number them in order. So the smallest is 25%, followed by 34%, then 39%, then 40%. And then when you write your answer, Write the original ones in, so a quarter, 34%, 0 0.39 and 2 fifths. And it's really important to show you working and how you changed the fractions, decimals and percentages. And that's how you order fractions, decimals and percentages.